Unblemished Kentucky continues its march tour, the first undefeated season since the 76 Indiana Hoosiers. The latest team to be cat scratched, eight seed Cincinnati of the Midwest by a 13 point margin, 64 to 51. Hey, everybody, Bonnie Bernstein, Jordan Cornette in our Campus Insider Studios. And as we await the Cats' Sweet 16 opponent, Jordan, as we were watching the game, you wanted to talk about a guy who, among all of these McDonald's All Americans, really doesn't get a ton of props, and that would be 6'10 freshman Trey Lyles. Trey Lyles plays for any other program, he's the team's best player. Yeah. On his Kentucky team, he's the forgotten one. When you talk about that front line with Kentucky, they're usually the X factor. They're usually the key. But Trey Lyles at 6'10", the swing man, has been incredible on the backboard. He's been a viable scoring threat. He's been the difference for the Wildcats. 11 and 11 today, his second double-double of the season. You're seeing that confidence grow with this kid. He gives him an added dimension in terms of that size. You try to key in on those bigs rebounding, this guy then gets on the backboard is a difference. Talk about the confidence. I mean, he's throwing selfies out there into the market with his teammates Tyler Eulis <laughs> and Devin Booker. That thing's going to be worth a lot of money because this kid has a very bright future. But right now, this guy has been the difference for the Wildcats. And the team understands how important he is on the rebounding side because he missed three games with strep throat and Kentucky was actually out-rebounded in each one of those games. If there is an area of vulnerability, and I kind of laugh when I'm saying that, but wh what do you think that would be for Kentucky? Punch these guys in the throat. And I don't mean literally. I mean figuratively. Cincinnati certainly tried to. I mean to. figuratively. You took to look at the Cincinnati team. They grabbed 22 offensive rebounds in this matchup, which says if you go out there and compete on the backboard, there's points to be had second chance wise. You can also aggressively attack the rim on these guys, get them in foul trouble. Cincinnati had success penetrating the lane and then going out and getting their misses. Well, West Virginia, if they potentially face them in that next round matchup, they're the best offensive rebounding team in the country. So watch for that. That could be a key in this one. So you're already picking West Virginia over Maryland, huh? I'm going to go ahead and say West Virginia is going to beat Maryland. I'm 0 for 1, Maryland advance. <laughs> I'm saying West Virginia gets it done. Very well. Well, the Cats will wait to see whether they face West Virginia or Maryland in the Midwest region. Keep it right here on Campus Insiders for all of your Who's Got Next segments, post-game analysis, and coaches' interviews.